for today? I stopped one night overnight as on our, uh, we had a day off when we flew in from Florida on the tour this summer. So I was here for one night, a couple of hours really. And uh, other than that, I haven't been here since in over a year. And so, uh, you know, got to play a show so I have an excuse to come back. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm keeping really busy. <laughs> So, yeah. so, I mean, have, have you missed any of them? Have you missed Aguilar? You know, I've, I've missed a lot of it. Just uh, well, the biggest thing I miss is just being able to be at a friend's house in two minutes, you know, walk and ride your bike or driving. And, you know, I don't really have that yet in L.A. Maybe never. <laughs> you know, everyone's just always working and crazy. You know, nobody, nobody really hangs out. So, uh, I don't know, that's what I miss the most, just hanging out at a house. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, I read somewhere that uh, a couple places actually, you, you still want to get your Aggie ring at some point. I mean, music career is blossoming. You don't want to leave yeah. that behind, but you, you want to get that ring someday. Yeah, I was wearing one of my friends yesterday. I was like, man, I don't want any rings. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, don't, I don't know. I know I'm so busy. I don't, I don't even can't even think about it. But I know someday. Yeah. Thinking maybe I'll sneak in some online classes here. <laughs> uh, tell me about. Tell me about what you're gonna be playing tonight. I mean, you know, some people. They just see you on American Idol singing the covers, all that stuff. You got some original music, right? Yeah, I've been. I have a lot of original music. That's kind of why I started singing, or, or kind of as I started singing. I, at first, it was just I wanted to play a couple songs, but as I started playing, I really fell in love with, um, I guess, songs in general and how they come together. And, um, I just fell in love with songwriting, just all of it. You know how lyric and melody come together with the music. You know, I just feel like, like when we write, you know, we just start with a piece of music and it feels like it's already got a message. You know. And um, so I'm just fascinated with the whole process. And I started writing as soon as I you knew enough chords. And, uh, and uh, you know, I haven't stopped since. And now I'm really, I'm getting to write with a lot of more experienced writers these days. And uh, so it's really cool to collaborate with them and feel like uh, it's a big uh, learning curve. Just, and it's just a blast. I really, there's one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> So, so, yeah, so tonight, anyway, we're talking about what I'm yeah, no, hey. yeah. <laughs> We're playing a lot of original material. We're testing it out. You know, that's really, I'm in the middle of writing for the record, so I'm not, I don't have a lot of rehearsal time. You know, it's kind of one-off special show. Um, so uh, we're going to, you know, play some of the new stuff, see how it goes over, and I'll play a couple of the more popular ones from the show. <laughs> there are some good ones there that I, I enjoy. <laughs> so. and, and let me ask you this. I mean, a, a kid from Rowlett and a kid from College Station, do you ever think tonight? I hear there's people coming from Virginia, Canada. I mean, do you ever think four years yeah. ago that you'd be playing on this stage and there'd be people coming from everywhere to come see you? I uh, definitely not. You know, never, <laughs> never imagined that. I was, you know, I was playing in a band before. You know, playing drums and stuff, and it's never really about me. You know, and it's kind of weird now because it's like people are coming to see Jason sing. It's like sometimes I'm still like I sing. <laughs> going on <laughs> but it's a blast you know I love it and, and tell me uh, just you know because in, in this story I mean we're going to do the story about you returning today and following around so uh -huh. tell me a little bit about today was it hectic you tell me what you did yeah well, today was pretty crazy you know uh, I got up really early <laughs> and I went to help out at a big event we were uh, kind of washing some walls down and repainting some stuff at the uh, the Lincoln Center I believe it is there uh, and, um, yeah, I did that this morning, and I went and had some lunch, <laughs> and then I went and uh, I caught the first pitch <laughs> at the baseball game, <laughs> so uh, that was, was kind of fun, I felt a little out of place, because I've never played baseball in my life, so was, they were like, i to throw the first pitch, I was like, oh, you don't want that, <laughs> and so uh, they had some little kids that were going to throw it out, I was like, I can probably catch, you know, the ball from some little kids, but even they... <laughs> Cut me off guard how, how fast they could throw the ball. <laughs> yeah, so that was a little embarrassing, but <laughs> it was fun. It was really fun to, to be there. You never stood on a baseball diamond, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that kid that kid zung it in there, too. That was yeah. that little, especially that little one, man. Yeah. Was, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Should have practiced. <laughs> what, what, you know, you seemed uh, I kind of spending time with you today. You're kind of laid back, cool kind of guy, but man. Right before you went on the field, you seemed nervous. So, yeah, I really got said, nervous, probably more nervous than I will be tonight, just because, you know, they asked me if I was right-handed or left-handed, so I thought my glove would be going on the right. Put on my left, it just felt so foreign. I was like, wait, I'm supposed to catch with this one? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, it was pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> and and um, tell me a little bit about 
the experience, uh, the idol experience. I mean, you know, I, I hear from people that say they stand in line for you know nine, ten hours and just to yeah. sing in front of a couple people that you know, they look like producers. Yeah. I mean, tell me about that journey. It's a wild one, especially starting out. It's a really long process at first, and you know, often there's a lot of times I was just like, man, let's just go home. This is not worth it. I'm not going to make it anyways. Let's, let's go home. <laughs> you know, 12 hours in the sun. No, thank you. But, you know, I stuck through it. You know, my, my dad kept encouraging me. Like, just do it. got to do it. All right. It's great. Uh, you know, the, the, it's, it's kind of a long journey, especially early on. Um, you know, a lot of waiting in line. And, uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of times felt like quitting. Just like, why am I standing here? This is miserable. I'm not going to make it anyways, you know. A lot of times just felt like walking out, you know. But I stuck through, you know, my dad encouraged me. And I, you know, went through and I just, just kept making it and waiting. Even, you know, after Hollywood, we had to wait like two months to find out the verdict, you know, if we made top 50 or not. So that was kind of a, a tricky time, especially deciding like school and stuff, you know. Like, well, you know, should I be paying rent? Should I be trying to find one of right now my plays? Or I don't know what's going to happen, you know. So that was just very, uh... I don't know. But then once the show got going, it was crazy. It was nonstop. And uh, they were still waiting every day, but it was just very, uh, I don't know, new stuff every day. Just a really awesome experience. And, uh, you know, I, I at first, you know, it was kind of like, oh, American Idol, that's, that's weird. But, uh, you know, I wouldn't trade the experience for anything. It was really such a cool thing to do. And, and you know, w- watching some of that, uh, my wife watched a lot more than I did. I just yeah. kind of sit there on the couch at the computer, but I'll be honest. But, you know, that, that seemed like a really tight-knit, especially in the, the top 10 to 15, seemed like a really tight-knit group, you know, Brooke and the Davids. I mean, yeah. what, was it was it just kind of like, you know, you guys are friends and hanging out? or what? what yeah, it? it really was. I mean, we kind of had no options but be best friends. We were together all day, you know, and so we all just kind of bonded and we're all going through the same thing. And, you know, I don't know, it was, there was nobody that really... Uh, I don't know, I don't understand how people couldn't be friends through the process, you know, but it was very, definitely a friendly